We end tonight with the clearest pictures yet of Neptune, the most distant planet in our solar system. Take a look. The striking infrared images were taken this summer by the James Webb Space Telescope. For decades, Neptune remained an elusive mystery in the outer reaches of our solar system, a dim blue world obscured by distance, ice, and insufficient data. Ground-based telescopes offered mere glimpses of its turbulent atmosphere, while even the legendary Voyager 2 flyby in 1989, though historic, could only skim the surface of Neptune's secrets. Since then, astronomers have waited patiently for a tool powerful enough to penetrate the icy veils and bring clarity to this remote planet. That tool finally arrived in the form of the James Webb Space Telescope, and its first detailed observations of Neptune have upended long-standing assumptions and revealed a world more complex, dynamic, and surprising than anyone had imagined. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its infrared gaze toward Neptune, what it uncovered was a planet that defied expectations in nearly every way. Gone was the familiar smooth blue disk seen in visible light images from Earth-bound observatories and older space missions. In its place stood a world marked by swirling bands of icy haze, shimmering atmospheric layers, and dramatically defined storms, features invisible in previous observations. The telescope's powerful near-infrared camera NERCAM didn't just sharpen Neptune's features, it exposed them with a clarity that seemed almost impossible given the planet's vast distance from Earth. One of the first shocks, was the revelation of Neptune's ring system, which appeared more clearly than ever before. Though known since the late 20th century, Neptune's rings had remained faint and indistinct, barely perceptible even through Hubble's lenses. But with Webb's advanced sensitivity and unique wavelength range, these rings came into full radiant view, glowing like etched halos suspended in deep space. Their sharpness stunned astronomers and provided the most detailed look yet at their composition and structure. Beyond the sheer visual marvel, these images hinted at ongoing dynamical processes, interactions between ring particles, shepherd moons, and Neptune's magnetic field that had not been fully appreciated before. Even more striking was what Webb uncovered in Neptune's atmosphere. Long thought to be a fairly uniform blanket of hydrogen, helium, and methane, Neptune's atmospheric structure turned out to be layered, dynamic, and brimming with unexpected activity. Infrared imaging peeled away the upper clouds to reveal lower storm systems and massive vertical circulation patterns that span hundreds of kilometers. The discovery of these deeper bands and the way they interact with solar radiation and internal heat sources challenged existing models of Neptune's meteorology. Instead of a frigid, sluggish planet governed mostly by inertia, Neptune emerged as a place of surprising thermal and atmospheric dynamism. The temperature distribution across the planet particularly shocked researchers. Rather than a smooth gradient from equator to pole, Webb detected strange thermal anomalies, with unexpected heat signatures near the poles and even some warmth near the equator, regions previously believed to be colder and more inert. This skewed thermal balance suggests the presence of unknown heat transfer mechanisms or even an internal energy source that has not yet been fully accounted for. It raised new questions about how heat escapes from Neptune's core, how the planet interacts with solar radiation despite its distance, and whether its magnetic field plays a more active role in thermal dynamics than previously assumed. A further surprise came from Neptune's South Pole, a region where Webb revealed a peculiar brightening, an infrared glow previously undetected in such detail. While scientists had observed hints of a hot spot here in earlier missions, Webb confirmed its prominence and intricate structure. This polar region glows not just from reflected sunlight, but from internal heat escaping the atmosphere, suggesting a localized process of convective upwelling or possibly a unique interaction with the planet's magnetic field. The implications are profound. Neptune's atmosphere is not uniformly insulated, and energy may be escaping unevenly through different polar pathways possibly tied to seasonal changes or long-term climate cycles unique to outer solar system planets. Another captivating element revealed was the abundance and behavior of high-altitude methane ice clouds. These thin, wispy clouds reflect infrared light in striking patterns, appearing as luminous streaks and arcs across the planet. Unlike the more familiar water clouds of Earth or ammonia clouds of Jupiter and Saturn, Neptune's methane clouds form in far colder, more exotic conditions. 
The new imagery captured their movement and clustering with unprecedented precision. Their distribution wasn't random. Instead, they appeared to cluster around storm belts and latitudinal bands, suggesting an intricate interaction between Neptune's rotation, atmospheric circulation, and possibly even gravitational resonances with its moons. Speaking of moons, Webb also offered a revelatory view of Neptune's largest satellite, Triton. Despite being the main focus of a separate study, Triton's brightness in the Webb images, outshining Neptune itself in some infrared exposures, drew attention. Coated in reflective nitrogen ice, Triton defied expectations with a surface that glittered in the infrared spectrum. Its brightness hinted at complex surface chemistry, possibly driven by seasonal nitrogen geysers or subsurface activity. The data suggested a world that, like Neptune, is far more dynamic than once believed, and it reinforced theories that Triton, captured by Neptune's gravity long ago, might still be geologically active and potentially harboring a subsurface ocean. The sheer sharpness of Webb's images also allowed scientists to observe Neptune's day-to-day -day weather in action. Over a series of exposures, subtle changes in cloud positions and storm shapes were visible, opening the door for continuous monitoring of Neptune's weather patterns in ways never before possible. For the first time, astronomers could envision building a dynamic meteorological model of Neptune, tracking storms, cloud belts, and temperature shifts in real time. Such monitoring not only enriches understanding of Neptune itself, but provides insights into planetary weather systems more broadly, including those on exoplanets with similar compositions and climates. Perhaps most exciting of all was how these revelations are reshaping theories about Neptune's place in the broader architecture of the solar system. Long thought to be a simple ice giant composed mostly of inert gases and ices, Neptune now appears more akin to a complex hybrid a planet with dynamic processes, layered energy exchanges, and intricate interactions between rings, moons, and atmosphere. These findings prompted astronomers to revisit long-standing questions about the formation of gas giants, particularly the differences between Neptune and Uranus. Though similarly sized and composed, Webb's data suggested Neptune might have a more active core or different evolutionary history. Why Neptune seems so much more thermally active than Uranus remains an open question, but one that Webb's data is helping to tackle. This new understanding of Neptune also casts a new light on distant exoplanets that fall into the Neptune-like category. Until now, most models of exoplanets in this mass and size range relied heavily on assumptions drawn from our limited understanding of Neptune and Uranus. But if Neptune is more complex, more active, and more thermodynamically strange than previously believed, then so too might be the hundreds of Neptune-sized exoplanets identified in nearby star systems. This could influence everything from models of atmospheric escape and retention to the likelihood of habitability on icy exomoons or under high-pressure atmospheres. What's more, the discovery of such complex dynamics in a planet that receives so little solar energy also changes the way scientists think about planetary life cycles. Neptune is more than 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth, yet it exhibits weather patterns, temperature variation, and even storms comparable in scale to those seen on Jupiter, which receives far more solar radiation. This suggests a powerful internal engine driving much of Neptune's activity, an engine that may have remained hidden without Webb's deep infrared insight. Understanding this internal heat source and how it interacts with the outer atmospheric layers could provide answers not just about Neptune, but about how giant planets maintain their structure over billions of years. The implications even extend to the study of planetary magnetospheres. Neptune's magnetic field is famously tilted and offset from the planet's center, creating an unusually shaped and dynamic magnetosphere. Webb's ability to correlate atmospheric features with magnetic patterns might allow scientists to unravel how this skewed field influences atmospheric dynamics. Certain cloud bands and storm systems may not be driven solely by heat and rotation, but also by electromagnetic forces shaping airflows in complex and unexpected ways. This would put Neptune in a unique category among solar system planets, where magnetism has a visible, perhaps dominant role in atmospheric behavior. None of this would have been possible without the specific capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope. Its sensitivity in the infrared spectrum allowed it to pierce through Neptune's dense cloud layers, revealing what lies beneath in fine detail. Unlike previous instruments, Webb could resolve features invisible in both optical and radio wavelengths, 
giving scientists a full-spectrum picture of Neptune's energy budget, atmospheric chemistry, and dynamic weather. In a sense, it gave Neptune its first full portrait, a view not just of the planet's surface or cloud tops, but of its living, shifting, breathing self. These discoveries underscore how little we truly understood about Neptune. For years, it had existed in the scientific imagination as a kind of silent sentinel at the edge of the solar system. A cold, remote, quiet world slowly orbiting in the shadows. But the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed it to be vibrant, restless, and stunningly alive. With each new observation, Neptune seems less like an afterthought in the planetary lineup and more like a key to unlocking the mysteries of planetary formation, atmospheric dynamics, and perhaps even the origins of habitability in the universe. The significance of these revelations cannot be overstated. They are not just fascinating facts about a distant world, they are paradigm-shifting insights into how planets work. Neptune is no longer merely the eighth planet from the Sun, it is a laboratory for studying fluid dynamics in low-light environments, a prototype for interpreting similar exoplanets, and a reminder that even after centuries of astronomical exploration, the solar system still holds secrets that can surprise, puzzle, and inspire. The next steps are clear. Continued observation with Webb and other instruments will peel back even more layers of Neptune's identity. But what's already been seen is enough to fundamentally reshape the way astronomers look at the outer solar system. Neptune, once veiled in icy mystery, now stands revealed, complex, powerful, and wholly unexpected. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Neptune's surprise? What do you expect JWST found? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.